Hi, it's Lyle from Made by Marley. Today I'm going to be making these um, light up um, sort of vintage inspired sort of spring things for table. They've got some fairy lights in them, a bit of greenery. I've decoupaged the outside, shabby chic them. It's made from pieces from um, the base is made. I'll take it off the base and show you. This is a candlestick from the pound shop, which looked quite rotten before it began and I uh, painted it white and these were Kilner jars, um, not Kilner jars, Mason jars um, from um, Home Bargains and I've just tipped them upside down, put a knob on the top to make them like that and I've decoupaged them. So if you want to see how to make this and you want to follow along, let's get on and make them. So this is what you need to make this. I bought these two candlesticks two metal, yeah, metal um, candlesticks from the, um, from the pound shop so they were a pound each and I bought these two sort of fake Kilner jars um, mason sort of jars um, from Home Bargains and I think these were £1.50 so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to get everything painted but I'll just kind of run through what else you need you need two knobs, two um, draw pulls, and I'm going to try, you need some decoupage and napkins, and I've picked ones with a poppy and a bumblebee on it, so you're going to need them, or whatever napkins you want, uh, some Mod Podge, and some white chalk paint, I'm just using Rust-Oleum um, furniture paint. And I've got some uh, duck egg uh, stolium paint as well because I'm going to try and match the same colour of green as my napkin. But the first thing we're going to do, and it's really quite simple, is we're going to paint these with white chalk paint. So I'm going to go away, paint these with white chalk paint, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out, I'm going to take all my plies off my decoupaging paper and uh, if you can't remember, I'm not quite sure what I mean by that, is I'm going to take the layers of tissue um, off the napkin till I'm left with just a single one like that. So all the layers come off it. So you just peel. But normally, it depends how many plies there are. So this is three. So that's one, two. And this is your third one. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to carefully cut out the patterns so there's some poppies there a bumblebee a solitary poppy on this side same on this side i'm just going to go ahead and cut them out but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to paint these white with the chalk paint and we'll be back when they're painted white and these are all cut out okay so i've painted them i painted the knobs and i've painted the little silver bits the seals of the kilner jars they're going to be glued in there like that with hot glue don't put paint on them so that they they do stick. I've cut out my decoupage flowers and now what I'm doing is I'm just rubbing back the candlesticks and giving them a quick wet distress. Um, some bits I'm going to do with a cloth and some bits I do with sandpaper and just remember when you are distressing anything that you hit the high spots, the because the, the chips form on things that are on the edges, you know, where they've been bumped or moved. So um, that's what I'm doing there. I'm just kind of rubbing my wet cloth over the high spots and I've got a little bit of sandpaper there. Um, so I'm rubbing them with sandpaper now. They're done. And I'm moving on to just knocking back a few of the wee edges on the knobs that I've painted white and now I'm going to get some hot glue and um, well, I'm not going to get some hot glue I'm mixed a colour of green the same colour as the napkins and I'm painting sort of halfway up on the bottom half it has to be the bottom half of the jars with the green paint that I've mixed And I'm going to do that to both of them, making sure that my brush strokes are really smooth and you can't see any. And that's with me explaining, you know. 
they have to be um, the bottom side. And I've sat that over to dry and I'm doing the same with the second one. I'm kind of doing it irregular, I'm not doing a straight edge at the top. I don't want a straight all the way around, so I'm, I'm just painting it on in a wobbly line. Okay, so I'm just gluing the bottom of the can and jar lids into the bottom of the candlesticks. Be really careful, the hot glue heats up the metal and it can be quite hot. Make sure you push them down so they stick. The jars are all painted now and I'm going to now apply uh, the napkins um, and decoupage them onto the blue background using Mod Podge. Now, make sure when you do this that your edges are all sealed so it doesn't lift back up and you just go round the jar um, putting on whatever napkin you've chosen at the bottom leaving the, the glass at the top um, we're leaving the glass bit at the top so that when we put the little fairy lights in you can see them so I'm just going round with my poppies and gluing them down <laughs> So these are, they're, they're really dry. The next step is to get our two knobs and to glue them on the top of here with some hot glue. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just apply loads of hot glue and stick it down and hold it until it just doesn't move anymore. Now these are decor pieces, they, they shouldn't be bashed about. I mean the hot glue should be enough to make them stick in place where they need to go. So if you just push down, make sure it's glued. And then here's our, our bases with the bottom bits glued in. And these are going to sit on here like this. I'll just move the camera up a little bit so you can see. So the next stages are we're going to decorate these in the inside. Um, put decorations in the inside so you can kind of finish it off with and then we're just about done so I'm just going to go and just let these dry a little bit before I work with them and when they're completely dry we'll do the next stage so here I am untangling all the lights I've wrapped them around my, ha my hand to make a sort of coil of lights now this works so much better if you just have a small string of ice wire lights but I didn't have any I just had big long ones so there's actually quite a lot going on in the jar which didn't really please me but it was what I had at the time. And then that's me just showing you that they work, tucking in the little electric, the little battery pack um, into the bottom of the lights and sitting them on the, the base and here I am again getting the miles of fairy lights. You can get I think one metre which is far better, I think these are I think these are two or three meters. There's a lot of them and a lot to go into that tiny little piece of jar. So maybe, you know, a smaller set of lights would have been the answer. And I'm kind of grabbing them, putting them in in a sort of coil and putting my greenery in. And really that's it. So you needed your candlesticks from um, the pound shop, which I painted white. Your two glass jars, which I got from Home Bargains. You have some fairy lights and a little bit of greenery and some decoupage paper. Glue it all together and voila! And although these would look really good for spring and you can change them up for summer, I think really doing something like this as a Christmas piece would be lovely. So I think this is probably how I'd stage it out. Just a 
a long tapas chopping board, some sort of spring decor in the middle with some lights, nice just sitting on a table or if you're setting a sort of spring dinner table um, and you could put the lights upstairs in, a, in, in your bedroom or in a bathroom. So that's how they look. They've got, you know, like just the right amount of shabby. As I said, the lights look quite chunky in there, but I don't think you need as many lights as them. The bases look cute. And there we have it. That's it. Quite simple, quite easy to make. I've been Lyle from Made by Marley. If you've liked what you see and you want to see more spring decor, please subscribe. Or if you think somebody else might be able to make this and have the bits and you think you'd like to share it, well, feel free. I'm all about sharing. And if you feel that there's something that you've done similar or you've made this, leave a comment. I like comments. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.